hello guys welcome to my youtube channel mr electric diy in this video we are going to talk about omron timer we have it here omron timer you can see that this is this is the coil of, of the timer and this is the socket this is the socket and this is the coil and now you can see that you have a whole drawing over here this whole drawing is actually on this on the timer and I've actually drew it here to have a clear view of how it is. You have the quail here. This is the 14 and the 13. The, the, the quail that needs the, this voltage, the source, 220 volts AC voltage. Before this quail will be energized and the contact will start working. And you have a contact. This contact is actually 5 amps. This is the maximum current that this whole system can carry or the circuit can carry 5 amps of current you can see that you have this 250 here 250 volts ac and dc 30 volts it's it is actually here you have it here this is max 250 volts ac but over here we have 220 volts ac and this is the maximum AC voltage that, that this square can carry. So we have it on the body here, max 250 volt AC. And also we have 7 amps of current and 250 volts, the same AC. But we actually have 5 amps of current here. But the maximum is 7 amps. Or in other way, sometimes you could have this same socket, a different square, but the same socket. And that, that different square, it can also mean that the, the different square we are having at that moment is actually 7 amps. So we have it on the body already. That sometimes it is your coil that is going to need that 7 amps. So we have it already here. So if your coil is 5 amps, there is no, it's not a problem to connect it to this, to this socket. Now, you can see that we have a whole lot of contacts here. Or let me say that there's a link here. This link is a, this is the quail, and this is the link. It is actually the link between this quail and this contact. That is going to be, and uh, this is number nine and number one, and no, number 12 and number four. So it is this link that is actually going to do the normally open and normally close. Now, here is linking directly to number one, that is normally close. And uh, number nine here, the same number number nine, it is also linking to number five, but this time around it is normally open. So when the preset time reaches, then this bar will just it will break it will break the number one and come and link to number five. And here also to break the number four and come and link to number eight. Let's get started to know um practically we are coming to do it. I have this indication lamp here. We are going to connect it to know exactly the way it works this is mr electric diy have um this is a um, non-polarized um, quail non-polarized meaning uh, they did not indicate whether whether the 14 is the life or the 13 is the neutral so i've actually done it for you to see that um the 14 you have the 14 at this this section and i'm using the a live conductor at this place this section and the neutral is also connected to number 13. You can interchange them to work because the person or the manufacturer that designed this quail did not indicate that here is live, here is neutral. So you can do it the way you want it. That's the way it is. Um, and the DC 30 volts we have here, it, it also means that use 220 volt to energize this quail. After the energization, you can use either this DC um DC cable to connect this section to your load. We have it here, C30 volt DC, the symbol is here, back and forth. The same way DC 30 volt DC. If this quail energized, then you can use either DC cable to either connect these terminals to your load. It will still work, but you are using AC to energize the quail. So sometimes when you are doing a circuit analysis or tracing a fault, you could see that they have used DC to energize the coil of a timer or a relay, but but the contacts are having are having the, um, DC, DC cables, but 
they have used AC to energize the square. And but in this section, I'm actually going to use AC to energize it and the same AC to connect it to my indication lamp to see how it works. So the preset time actually means that let's say um I want the I want this this green light to turn on after two minutes. So when I energize this square, I energize this square. This is the socket. I energize the square. And I set it to I have to set it before I energize the console. I've set it, let's say, let's say two minutes. Now when the moment I turn on, I turn on this this timer, I energize the quail. So just the nine and the more one will automatically start working. Then number twelve and number four will automatically also start working. When the preset time rate, the two minutes reaches, then this it will, um the number nine is actually going to break the number one and come to link with number five, and this number four is also going to break and come and link to number eight. That is how it works, and we can also use this as on delay timer, meaning. It will turn on, but it is actually going to delay that the way the tennis. It will turn on. So we are going to use this the normal open as on delay time. This is the indication lamp. We are also going to use um the manai as this is these are common terminals. It's also common. So if you want to use this, something like one gang two way switch, this is common. And this 12 and number 4 are normally close and number eight is open so just this is just a normal switch it's going to be switching here and there here and there so they're going to use number nine so i'll put live here and number one i'll use number one for this red red um indication lamp here is red now use here as the green Now you can also um you can link the live to one of the common, but I'm actually going to pick it from the the breaker, the same live. You can link this one to this section and so and it to work perfectly. Here is number number nine, and this is number nine. You can link here to number nine to work, but I'm actually going to use the same live from the breaker to number nine. Just now you have you have connected the cable from the breaker to number nine. This is the nine. And I'll pick it from one to the load. And the load, this is the we are using the red. The normally closed section. We're using the red. So I'll connect it to this indication lamp. And number one, number one is here. Now, and I'm using uh, this green indication lamp. I'm using it as a uh, normal open. This is what is going to use the preset time, two minutes. Now, I have to also connect cable from five to this this lamp, um, indication lamp. And we have the five, the top side here. Now we are done with with this this section. We are done with this. This is the number nine is the common and this is number nine. I pick it from the, the breaker, straight from the breaker to number nine. So you have a live conductor at this section, number nine. The cable from the number the number one as this is the number one, the close contact, the cable from there to this red indication lamp. On the green lamp, you are using the normal open, the number five, the cable from number five to the, to the green indication lamp. Now, you are left with one cable each. You are down with this side, left on this side and that side. That is going to take the neutral, the neutral straight from the breaker. neutral to this side and then with the normal closed section left with the normal open so i'll just link the neutral from this side 
the neutral from this side to this side. You can see that just now you are done with everything. You are done with everything. The 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 common the common here. You are done with it. So I have to just insert my quail. The moment I insert this quail, the moment I insert it, it will start it will start counting. And this normally normally close to start working. Now make sure that it is very firm. I insert it. I turn the breaker on. Now this indication lamp is working, as we said. Just that the preset time has started counting. You have set two minutes. So this normally close here. The number one. The normal close is working. The moment the coil reaches its preset time, the two minutes, then to the bar will actually move from the one to two. So it will break the number number one to break the link so this lamp will go off and then this one will take over they are still waiting just now the normal closed contact has opened and the normal open contact has closed and the same thing has happened here you can see that this this is off and this is on the power here and you have the the app this app actually means that the normal closed contact has now opened and the normal open has now closed. If you find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, Mr. Electric DIY. Thank you. Thanks for watching.